No Life Johnson, Bi the bipolar woodcarver. Oh yeah. All right, so welcome to another video of Jordy Does. Um, a couple days ago I was here. Um, I don't know if I showed me slicing up, uh, splitting these things that I had, the slobs that I had for Christmas trees. I, I cut some out, cut a couple with the hearts in them. Still not done yet. Cut this one in with the wood spirit face in it. None of them are done yet. I still need to burn them and sand them. So it's a big mess with these trees because you got so much uh, extra wood. This one's already almost full. But what I got to do today before I can start carving is I got to my buddy's coming tomorrow, uh, Thursday, with some friends, and we're going to put the carvings in the spirit trails. So what I got to do today is I got to get this big one um this one and this one in three of them and get the holes let me give you a wider view get the holes drilled up in the bottom so you can set this on rebar because this is a big carving there's lots of kids that run in the spirit spirit trails last thing i want this to do is fall over on a kid so <clears throat> drill three holes in the bottom like a triangle okay that's a, a a point system one in the front two in the back then you bang the rebar into the ground. Then you put glue in the holes. Then you sit it on top of the rebar, and it's safe. So I got to do one, two, three, maybe even four. Anyways, that's what I got to do today. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. So what I need to do is lay this on my jack thing, my hydraulic jack, lift it up, screw a board to the ball. Anyways. Okay. So I got to lean this down. And hopefully it will teeter-totter on this. Oh. Perfect. Okay, now I can paint underneath that hat and stuff and get it rid of all the spider webs too. So I'll get that done. Okay, so here's the bottom of the carving. The front center is right here, so I got a little line there. So what I got to do now is I got this board, I got it labeled wizard it's easy to get confused when you do something and then you got to do it a few days later right so wizard front top so this will be the top what i got to do is i got to screw this to here right then i got to drill holes up through here this is creating a pattern right so then when i take this so there'll be holes up there right holes in here one two three so when I take this to the spirit trails, this will have the exact same holes in it because I'm going to drill the holes through here. Then I place this on the ground 
Then I bang the rebar through the holes on this. Once the rebar is down, then I take this off. Then all of us will pick this carving and put it on the rebar. And put glue inside there. Does that make sense to you? I don't know if it makes sense to me or not. Anyways, let's go right about here. I oh, I wasn't looking forward to doing this, but I know it had to be done. Okay, so. Put a couple screws in. Alright. So now I got this auger bit. And uh, one, two, three. <coughs> I carved uh, six fence board Christmas trees yesterday. That was that was quite a bit of work. Is the mic on? Okay, so let's see here. I don't know if you guys need to watch me drill these holes. Make sure you drill them in straight too. Shit, I put this on wrong. I need to put this. Anyways, I'll get the holes drilled in. Okay, I just had to realign that board a bit. But watch these um these auger bits. They'll break your wrist with the drill, so. Yeah, piece of shit drills. Anyways, there's the auger bit. Yes, I would normally use an electric drill, but this does not fit inside my rec electric drill chuck. Let's try this again. See, filming. One hold on. Anyways, you guys see how I do it. Then I take this piece off, then uh, abracadabra. Okay, so there's the holes in there. Man, I'm getting too fat. When you start getting too, like I wear an extra L shirt, extra large, but you know, once you start getting too fat, you think your shirts start shrinking like this way, your belly starts hanging out, that's when it's time to start losing weight because I'm not going to start getting into double XLs. So that's my warning. So there's the holes drilled in. Got a little mark there for the front. And uh, let's get this carving. Oh yeah, who remembers shapes? Make your own. This is the next one. Yep. Yeah. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. I could. This hydraulic lift is awesome. It's sure a back back saver. Why is there always something in my way?
All right. I think that's pretty good so I can have some <clears throat> leverage so I don't have to use my back so much. That's my problem is my lower back. This thing's heavy. Oh, that worked out perfect. Perfect. Shoot. Well, spiders all over here. I would like to, uh, I think they're calling for some rain today, but I would like to get this um, log stood up. This is that uh, big tree here. I would like to get it stood up and uh, skin it, take the bark off it, carve a tree uh, sitting on mountains, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I've got to see how much energy I have. So this one's got a hole in it. It's got a hole in the center, but I'll figure that out. No problem. Carry on. Oh. Oh. Four done. I got I did one last week too. I'll show you guys. So this one I just do one single hole. Dig a little hole, bang the rebar in the ground, set it on the rebar, put the hole, fill hole back in. Those two are done. Um this one's already done too. Spirit of Thou Stone. So I got a couple mushrooms to go in there. I was thinking about, oh yeah, don't be a Mr. Poopy Pants. Mr. Poopy Pants there. I was thinking about putting uh, this one in too. But this is spalted birch. And I don't know how long it would last inside there. So I'll probably leave this one out. Well, I got another spirit thing full of wood spirits back there too. So Mr. Poopy Pants, I need to pull that out, drill a hole in the bottom, dig a hole, and put it deep in a hole. I think uh, maybe it would be nice to get this one stood up. That's heavy. That's soaking wet poplar wood. Get that stood up. Maybe I could carve a tree on it. It's like a tree with the roots down on the rocks. Well... I got the log stood up, but I forgot to film. That thing's like 500, 600 pounds. It's friggin' heavy.
So I don't have my microphone in, but I'm going to show you guys how many burls in a minute this poplar wood has. Okay, so I'm going to cut a tree up here. I don't know if I want to make it a 2D tree, so you're just looking at the front, or a 3D tree. Uh, I got all these lines. I know the center of the wood's right here, so I want to I want to cut this wood away and keep all this wood where the center isn't. So here, I don't know. I might, I might do a straight cut down here, straight cut down here, and make it like a 2D tree because you can see the burls on it. And it's getting windier. So... And wind brings rain. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta get my saw. Close this tent so these things don't get all covered with sawdust and start cutting. Well, that plant kind of went down the tube because this is the biggest saw I got here. It's my 170, so I guess I'll keep on cutting. It's going to take me a lot longer. But so what I want to do is I want to strip the bark off to about uh, right down here. Do some cuts. I don't know. This wood is super, I don't know how you guys can see there, but you see the, the burl wood. So before I show you guys the, the bird's eye down here, I don't know if it's bird's eye, whatever it is, but it's bleeding red. I was just carving, getting rid of that white wood, the sap wood. I don't know what I'm going to carve. I don't know if it's going to be a tree anymore. I just don't know. Maybe it's time to um, leave it. Let it dry out more. This wood uh, dries, dries super quick. Like, See this uh, different colors? That's wet. That's dry. That's how I bet you if I put this on a time lapse, you'd watch this little piece here turn this color. This piece turn this color. So I cut one of the bigger slabs off and there's no there's no bird's eye or whatever it's called the cool grain of the wood in the sap wood it's all in the hardwood so you have to cut really deep to get into it but so I don't know I don't know if I'll be able to make something out of this one day but I'll just I'll take it home and I'll let it dry out and we'll see what happens I think it's cool still got the bark on it but you gotta get rid of all that white wood to get to the burl wood. So I don't know. I just don't know. But you guys can see here. See all that? I don't know how well you can see it with this light. Up here too. I was thinking maybe just uh, I could carve a wood spirit here and just smooth this so it's nice. This, I'm going to ask to keep lots of this wood because it's not the best wood for outdoors. Like it doesn't hold up good against the weather. And uh, Steve Kenzora says it cracks quite a bit. Poplar. But uh it's good to practice on. You know, why not, right? Yeah, sure, I got to remove all the bark and yada, yada, yada. But it's still, it's solid wood. Well, actually, 
I'll show you guys the center of the tree right here. That's it right here. So hopefully this branch, that would be a branch or something. Hopefully that doesn't crack out to the front. Look, that's even getting smaller already. So I don't know what I should could do. I, I kind of stuck. It looks like a mushroom. Kind of looks like a tree. Yeah, I guess I could make it a tree. It's, I don't know. I don't know if it has the right shape for a tree that I want to do. Anyways, like, yeah, you go like this, but sure, it looks like a mushroom. Um, I would have to take this hat a lot thinner to make it a gnome, but it could be a wood spirit in here with just a mushroom cap head. Um, you know, to make it a tree, I still, I would have to take this bottom a lot more thinner. Just don't know. I don't get stumped that much. When I get stumped, I get stumped. I think when you're stumped like this, you know, I always ask on videos, what should I do, yada, yada, yada. But I think on this one, like, look how red that is. It doesn't stay red, though, but... I don't know if you guys can see how red it is on video. Um, I think on this one, you know, honestly, like what's the hurry? I think I'm going to kind of leave this. And I'm going to ask your guys' opinions. What do you guys think I should carve on it? Should I finish it off? Make it a tree? Like um, the tree, it's kind of blowing in the wind whoosh, this way, so the branches would kind of be like that. It's best to leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Leave it, Jordy. Look at all the mess you got to clean up, anyways. Like this is a Jordy Does video, so who cares? But um, I'm going to bring this inside so maybe you guys can see the red in there better. I'm going to take this home and just forget about it and let it dry out. It's bleeding out. That's what it's doing. So... Should I carve another tree? I could burn these and sand them. That's what I think I'll do. Um, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. Maybe I'll block out these ones. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. Yeah. Carry on. Now i got to get the jaw horse over here and do all this and that and this and that. No, that's it. I think I'm going to be done. Oh, I got. I know what I need to do. I need to get the rebar ready for these guys. So there'll be six, three, six. The other one, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, and I got some rebar right down here. Is it down there. I don't know. Maybe I should uh, work on this piece, clean up this outside wood. Maybe I should finish that owl and uh, wood spirit on uh, you wood. Well, I was going to take this one to the spirit trails, but. But he never came and got this one. I don't know. This owl didn't turn out uh, like I wanted it to. I carved too deep. So I think what I'm going to do with that owl 
is cut it off here one day, cut it off there. And then I got this three thing here. There's like one, two, three. See the top one? I'll have it sitting up there. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. Almost time to pull out the heater. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is take this cart of wood down to the wood pile. Look at all this other wood I got. I showed you earlier. I got to take all this stuff down there too. Don't be a poopy pants. Okay, I changed my mind again. Oh, that piece that, I, that was down here, I uh, cut it up. Because Just Carve Rob uh, loves making, loves making knives, carving knives for people. Um, I cut that up here and I sent him the burly piece. This one's not that burly. But uh, no, I didn't send it to him. Well, I I'm going to take it home, let it dry out, and uh, then send it to him. And he can make a whole bunch of people carving knives. Yeah, that was a good idea. You just email him uh, Robert Vreeland at gmail.com or leave a message on one of his videos. Um, he loves making the carving knives for people. I just cut him this piece too. Um, anyways, yep, he'll have lots of wood to make knives with. This one's not that good actually, it's got too much water wood on it, but uh, carry on. Oh yeah, I remembered what I was going to do. I only got a minute and uh, 12 seconds left to film, but I'm going to put this one and tuck it away in the Carving Fusion warehouse, let it dry out a bit more, um, take this buggy down to the wood pile, and then uh, fill up this buggy with this wood, and then that's going to be it for the day. Oh, the rebar. No. Oh yeah. I have another plan. Bipolar uh, wood carving. Where's a piece of wood here? Um, yeah, there's a nice little piece there. I'm going to slice up that piece and carve a couple smaller pumpkins, uh, make a video out of it. Why not? I don't care. I got nothing better to do. I got no life. No life Johnson with uh, is the mic working. Oh, it's almost falling off. No Life Johnson, Bi the bipolar wood carver. Oh yeah, what was I doing? Getting this. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Oh. So we ran out of time, that's it. I got a piece of wood. Stay tuned for a pumpkin carving video. <laughs> Bye.